<laughs> What's up? You already know the vibe, man. Yeah, we're playing some of the Lost, man. You know the vibe. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you holding up? Why'd I go in the shop, man? I got one cent. I don't know what this character is. I'm, I'm workshopping some new bits here. You know, just trying to... Trying to see where I stand. Trying to see what I can pull off. <laughs> trying to trying to get my stand-up routine, maybe. I don't know, you know. You gotta always, uh... Always keep your career options open or something. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, seriously, how you doing? Hope you're holding up. Hope the new year is treating you fine so far. And, uh... Everything's going okay. Everything is going all right. Yeah, I definitely didn't stay up way too late last night playing Minecraft. No, not at all. No, I would never. I would never. It's definitely don't have a track record of doing that and uh, am, you know, exemplifying it once more. Not at all. No, no, no. You know, with, um, with the month now, with the, the, the new month starting up now, obviously when I'm recording this, it's still not January, but <laughs> it will be soon enough. Uh, they're they're going to do another Isaac Online co-op thing again right like they're gonna they're gonna bring back the the beta for that once more i i would not mind maybe trying actually trying it out this time around i i didn't last time because there were too many hurdles for me to clear and i didn't feel like clearing them but maybe this time around i'll actually jump through the hoops uh, depending on the changes they made and how much more streamlined they have made it to make it a little bit less annoying yeah that'd be pretty cool right so who knows? I'm again. I'm not gonna promise anything given my track record, but maybe there's actually gonna be something about that in relation to that. What are actually like some things that we should be looking forward to in 2024? I always like to open up. Ooh, law game. I always like to open up like uh, discussions about like, oh, how's what's 2024 gonna have in store for us? But like video gaming. What games are coming out this year? GTA 6 isn't until next year, 2025. And if you're playing, if you're gonna play it on PC, like I want to. Uh, you're probably waiting at least an extra year after that. Um, I, I actually have literally nothing on my radar what could be coming out this year. We still haven't got any idea when Silk Song is coming out. Um, everybody was expecting it this year, or like last year much rather. Uh, so, and then they were like, ah, actually it's not finished yet and we're not gonna tell you uh, when it's coming out until it's finished. So, like, you know, that could be coming out this year, it could not. Who knows? Elden Ring DLC. Who knows when that's coming out, right? That might take like six years to complete, who knows? There's, there's a lot of things that could happen in the year 2024 in terms of gaming, and Lord knows what they are actually gonna be. For now, I'll check this item room. Come on, I don't want E. coli. Lost soul? Okay, well, I can't guarantee that you'll stay alive, but I'll obviously never kill you on purpose. I'll, I'll, I would never. I would, I would never, ever do that. I should have just gone harder on the rerolls, man. I had batteries lying around. But I was so happy to see a reroll that didn't delete my item. In, like, both of them. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just go for it, you know? I'll just grab an item. I respect the hustle of the game. To not delete everything for once. Oh, BFFs is good. You know what? Lost Soul gets to live. Because he has mantle now. He's just like me, for real. Unless it's a long-ass room or fight, like a boss fight, then he's probably still got a good chance of dying, but... At the very least, he won't try to uh, die to like any stray bullet now, right? He can at least take a hit without fucking perishing instantaneously, so that's nice. That's a welcome change of pace. You know what I'm also looking forward to? That would be a great get to, uh, after this boss fight. Devil deal containing Damocles or Pound of Flesh. Either one I'd be very happy with. I wouldn't mind getting another lost Damocles run on the road immediately, so soon after the last one, which was probably just a couple of weeks ago at this point. Things kind of blend together for me. I always feel like things that happen, like happened re recently don't actually happen recently, or much rather... I always feel like things are more recent than they actually are. Is that a sign of getting old? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe things just kind of blend together because you're old. I'd like to say, by the way, even if I didn't have Lost Soul's mantle right now, he would still have been alive. He's not been hit by anything so far, which is actually kind of crazy. It's uh, an amazing track record for me to keep him this safe. What do we got? Sack dagger? Nah. Lord of the pit. I don't need that. It's speed up. Who cares? I just realized I don't have any money for the claw game. Am I going to blow up my donut machine just on the off chance it actually pays out? Well, I've been rude to my donut machine a lot lately, but I do need money more than the game likes to give it to me. So unfortunately, I'm not left with many options most of the time. Because <laughs> I wouldn't mind a squeezy at least. You know, if I get lucky, I can get two items out of this. If I get really lucky. Um, realistically, I don't even get lucky enough for one. I was just edging my bets on that one. 
I don't have the cash. Anyway, lost soul. Let me just pay up with hearts. Yep. After all I do for you. I get you that BFFs. I keep you alive and healthy. And this is how you repay me. I... I'm just disappointed. Like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You know? I'm like a disappointed parent. I'm like, why is, why is he doing this to me? You know? Alright, what do we got in here though? A little haunt? No thank you all, intruder. I can't really trigger half of its effects. I kind of don't care. What is this damage though? Nice. And range for that matter, which is also good. In this particular situation. Well, there goes Lost Souls Mantle. He's probably dead. There's, you, you can't, you can't, you can't dodge him. With, it's, it's impossible. I don't know how I was supposed to keep him alive. He lags behind you and you can't squeeze past the tears. It simply doesn't happen. I gotta change up my dodging for that. This was simply not meant to be. This is a fight that Lost Soul cannot survive. You can survive it very easily, but Lost Soul is a different story on this one. Let me guess the other fight is gonna be Blub. Let's go. Rip Lost Soul, but I'm built different. Uh, man. You know what? I need bombs. Uh, PSG would have been nice too. No point in going to the shop. I'll fight the boss for now. It's Min Min. Leave me alone. Don't do that. Okay. <sighs> Jesus, man. Fighting Min Min is always a bit of a heart attack. <sighs> Especially as a lost. It's it's just... I, I hate that I had to use the strength card for that, but I did need the extra damage output. It was kind of necessary, man. They chain together so well as well. Enemies scratch into bone spurs, die, create more of them. Reroll this. Huge. Damage was luck. BFS bone spurs kind of goes hard, man. Anyway, oh, speaking of things that go hard, hard ass nails. There was nothing in here, right? Yeah, nothing for me anyway. Sometimes the mirror side uh, secret room, uh, curse rooms can still be interesting because there could be combat. Sometimes combat is all you need. You gotta fight for what's right in life. You gotta fight what you stand for. Wait, no, you gotta fight for what you stand for. You don't want to fight what you stand for. That seems like a bad idea. Why would you fight against it? That seems like you should fight for the things you like, not the. Not against them. Uh, I mean, it depends. I guess if your urges are self-destructive. Yeah, okay, sure, you gotta fight those. That makes sense. Uh, no thank you. Even though my run is currently not uh, amazingly powerful, so I wouldn't lose out on too much by doing a full run reroll, I also don't wanna. I like what I have currently. I only do full run rerolls if what I currently have is absolute trash. However, what I currently have is not absolute trash. Okay, that was not my mental. That was Lost Souls mental. But I guess, considering the boss is right here, we'll just go to town real quick. It is clutch. Oh, I hate it here. Keep your distance. There's no way Lost Souls staying alive in this fight, man. I don't even- I should put down bombs. I just realized I should definitely be putting down bombs to deal with these fucks. Ah, oh, fuck. We went for the wrong one. Put down a bomb as soon as he's out of there, so he can, like, really fucking deal with his ass. Like, you gotta DPS him when he's out of that. There you go. Much better. Ah, uh, there goes both our mentals, I think. Uh, Lost Souls dead, I gotta stay alive though. It's very hard. It's very hard. I'm so scared, dude. I'm fucking terrified, bro! Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Holy. This is a pretty good devil deal. Um, But it's not the items I really want. Do I want to give up angel chances for this? Or do I re-roll, trying to maybe fish for that mythical... Damocles or Pound of Flesh. Ah, oh, it's so tough. I think Abaddon is just worth taking, man. It pains me, but it's true. Man, despite Mantle, Lost Soul is still struggling to stay alive, but I have been getting some real hard boss fights to keep him alive through, so honestly, like, you know, it's not my job to keep him alive. It's his job to stay alive. There's a, there's a difference there. <laughs> there's a difference there, okay? He chose a hazardous occupation. It's a hazardous workplace. So he knew what he was signing himself up for. So what he should have done was get safer equipment. If he still can't keep himself alive even with BFFs and the mantle that he gets, that's his problem. I'm not in charge of that anymore. HR can deal with that. If he doesn't like it, he can just quit. Do I roll this again? Yeah, let's start with this. Ooh, Lacry. I like the idea of a Lacry. My tier rate is pretty high and uh, I love the idea of these nails bursting into big ass nail bombs. That's funny. All right, Lost Soul. Here's your next attempt to stay alive. You just gotta do your job, man. Just stay alive. I know you can do it. I believe in you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give him a little bit of a pep talk here, you know? Alright. Oh, that's range, though. I wish I'd seen this sooner, because it could have been tier 8. Eh. I'll leave it... I don't know. Do I leave it for, around for now? Wait. Now it's fire rate because... Dude, modeling clay! Holy shit! It became fucking, like, roid rage or something. So now I got a range up, so now this becomes fire rate. Amazing! Because it's only determined upon pickup. 
That's crazy. Okay. Incredible get. I'm so glad I... I'm so glad I just walked out instead of just deciding to immediately reroll. Alright. Marlin Clay once more showing why it's one of the best trinkets in the game. Solely because of that. Uh, Lost Soul, by the way. Probably gonna die here. Never mind. It will live. I will win. And, and, it, and it won. What are we dealing with in this shop? I have cash for days. Card reading's kinda okay. Yeah, sure. I'll just take it. Nah. I guess I'll take this. Adrenaline. Okay, it's spun. I can't really be too mad about getting spun. It's damage at the end of the day. Can you believe that people call spun a bad transformation? Maybe, is it is it just me because I overrate damage like crazy in this game? But spun is actually like kind of good, man. Can I high priestess his ass? Get fucked, Hornfell. Your mind card is broken. You don't you don't get to have fun anymore. Okay, well. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, a library. Back to being for this room. Hot damn. I actually get to re-roll all of these as well. Ain't that something. Might as well, right? It's not like there's anything else to re-roll. <laughs> and I left behind a charged key. Satanic Bible. That would have been... I wish I'd found this earlier. <laughs> that would have been nice to replace my boss item with. Which ended up being an HP up that then got deleted. <sighs> but alas, what can you do? I chose the wrong path and now I gotta live with the failure. My consequences. An XL floor. Oh, okay. Take me straight to my item room. Well, one of them. Is a conjoint piece worth it? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, the other one's right here as well. Cool. Let's check out this one then. Forget me now? Nah, I don't want to use that. Let's roll this one first though. Okay. <laughs> okay, I should just take a Mongo, baby. I'm too greedy again. I'm, I'm noticing I'm too greedy again. Here's a thought that occurred to me the other day. And um, makes makes even more sense to bring up now that we're, we've officially entered the middle of the 2020s decade, right? How come? I don't know if radio is like this wherever you live, but at least radio is like this here, where they're always like, we play the best hits from the 80s, the 90s, and now. And I don't really understand why they're like this. The, the 80s are a dedicated um, decade that you play music from, the 90s are, and then apparently the 2000s and the 2010s are just, and the 2020s for that matter, are just one decade. Like, it's been 25 years almost, right? Since since the 90s ended. So why are we still lumping everything after the 90s into one category? You feel me? I feel like that's a bit strange. I guess... Oh, Spirit Sword. Oh, I'm interested. Um, I guess it's because radio is a fucking dying medium and nobody under the age of, um... Like, 50 actually really listens to radio, like, mainly. Because everybody with a phone nowadays just streams music off of Spotify or something like that. So, you know, I understand that that might be why. Because the people that would be more preferred to want to listen to 80s and 90s music are old. And actually still listen to radio. And most of the people that would want to listen to more modern pop music don't listen to radio anyway. I mean, I don't listen to radio. So, you know, it's only a passing, a passing interest that uh, sprung up into my head again. But it, it's, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, you tell me 80s, 90s, okay, yeah, sure. And now, like, them saying 80s, 90s, and now, that made sense in, like, 2006. You know, when I was a kid, they're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You got the last two decades, and then also this current decade, now. But they've, they've kept up that. Like, you, you lose so much music with that. I feel like we're just losing, like, an entire generation of music with that on the radio. Like, nobody's fucking playing mu hits from the 2000s or the 2010s. There was just as much good music released during that time as there was back in the 80s and 90s, man. Most of, like, if a Zoomer ever does turn on the radio, they're not nostalgic for, like, fucking 80s rock music. They're nostalgic for fucking, like, 2000s R&B pop music, you know? Because that's what everything was at the time. You know, they're nostalgic for fucking white girl summer songs, like Katy Perry shit. They don't want to hear Bon Jovi <laughs> or Nickelback. They want to hear Katy Perry or Ariana Grande. You know, I'm just naming examples. It's another gold pill. I mean, sure, if there's a trinket for me to gulp on this floor, I'll gladly will. It's crazy to me. It, it, see, it seems so wild to me. Maybe that's going to change. Maybe in like 10 years time, they're going to be like, we got the best hits from the 2000s, the 2010s and the 2020s. I really think it's just like something that encapsulates uh, that radio is indeed a dying medium. Because why else would they do it like that? 
it means that like the only people that still listen to radio are also people that are, are like fucking antique, you know? <laughs> as old as as old as the radio stations. It's the only explanation I have for this. I'm not dismissing the music, by the way. I, like, yeah, like this is probably just a problem that happens with time as well. As time progresses and more and more music gets made, inevitably, you know, there's going to be more good music as well over time. That's just how things work. So eventually we're just going to have so much good music that something has to get cut out. And like, you know... Like you can hang on to the uh, the good music from the from the 80s and 90s, but that does like there's there's been so much other good music since it's it's crazy. That's the problem with like as as more and more media gets created, not just music, it applies to anything, right? Movies, TV shows, uh, video games. Um, even if the technologies get better, especially for video games, it's apparent. But still, like like for every other medium, it's not as apparent, especially music or movies. Like as technologies improve, sure the movies might improve, the movies might also get worse, but. In general, you would say that there's more and more good movies. Just because a, mov a movie is old or a song is old, that doesn't make it bad. That doesn't automatically mean it's bad. Sure, if it has some themes that might have aged poorly, yeah, that can happen, sure. It's, it, that's no secret that that happens sometimes in the world. That's, that's pretty normal. But it doesn't mean it necessarily, like, just because something is old, it becomes bad, right? So we're gonna have, like, more and more good stuff for future generations and just for the future in general to, for people to interact with. Which is, well, both, both a good and a bad thing, actually. Because, it, it, like, the good thing means that, like, people are gonna be even more spoiled for choice about, like, good media to consume. But the downside is, maybe some proper good media might just get lost, right? People are so stuck on the old stuff that they don't even want new stuff, even if it's good. Well, vice versa, people get so absorbed into the new stuff that old stuff that is still good doesn't see the light of day anymore. Why am I getting so philosophical? I always get so philosophical as soon as I'm starting to talk about stuff like this. I don't even really know what I'm really talking about. But I'm talking about something, man. <laughs> also, I didn't get the money for Spirit Sword, did I? Hmm, a darn shame indeed. I guess I'll re-roll it then. It's gone. If I can't have it, nobody can. It's good enough. It's a good enough outcome. I'm happy with that. Is the fire from... Holy water just stay forever? I feel like it does. That's crazy. Never mind, it does disappear eventually. And then holy water comes back and just makes a new one anyway. That's very funny. I didn't know where to stand. Don't kill me or my lost soul ever again. Um, well, I can't really do much here. Can't reroll, so I'll just grab that and I'll kill mom. How am I keeping lost soul unhit for now? It's that's kind of crazy. It shouldn't be happening like this. There's a long ass mom fight, by the way. I'm not doing a lot of damage to her specifically. Okay. Somehow still hanging in there. We got a devil deal. It's got backstabber. That's a pretty good item. And that's an item I will take. And I guess we'll go up because I'm the lost and I want to be able to take more than one item. So there you go. Oh, so I actually kept lost soul alive for a floor. Let's go. What do you got for me, man? Fuck you. Pay out with an item. Why are you like this? Why are you always just paying out with soul hearts? I hate you. I hate you. So unbelievably annoying. Just pay out with anything actually useful. That's why I hate Lost Soul, man. I mean, at least on the Lost, this is a majorly annoying thing, but... Even if you keep him alive, he pays out with fuck all, man. Bro just doesn't want to pay out with anything. He pays out with soul hearts or eternal hearts every damn floor. Anyway, you know, back to media, right? <laughs> I feel like I've got more to talk about there. I think the only thing where, where maybe it's a bit different, where like old, where, where things do maybe get better as they get newer, are games. Like, there's still a lot of good old games. But in, in gaming especially, you, you recognize very quickly that the quality of games has, I think, generally improved over time. Like, there's still a lot of bad games that get released nowadays as well. Like, let's not, you know, get ahead of ourselves. They still make bad games nowadays, and they they made good games back in the day. But I think just firstly because there's so many more games being made, just by, by the sheer law of large numbers, there's more good games as well. But also just because there's better technologies to fulfill, you know, creative directors and game developers' visions and ideas that they have, uh, it's it's much. The, the, I think on average the games games have gotten better in the modern day. I think it's the only exception to the rule. And I think there's probably like that for music and for movies as well at some point, right? When those technologies or types of media were in their infancy, they were, you know, probably there was a lot of shit being made because people didn't really know what to do. They were just trying to figure it out, right? They were messing around until they figured out a, a working formula for like a good song or a good film. And eventually, 
they got they got to where we are and now actually you could argue movies have gotten worse but you know you got to know where to look i guess but i but i do think that you know gaming will eventually get there i feel like we're getting there with gaming now technology technological advances for gaming are definitely slowing down it's not like graphic fidelity is something that really gets insane upgrades from generation to generation nowadays we're kind of I think we're starting to plateau on that a little bit. So it's just gonna come down to shit like, I don't know, fucking... The way you game. VR, right? If they ever manage to make VR actually, like, even more immersive. Fucking full dive shit or whatever, you can even feel sensations. Who, who knows, you can, like, link up your brain directly to a video game. I mean, that's basically what, what Valve is working on, in it? Guess that's what Gabe was working on for a while. And I guess in a way Elon is doing, although I would not want to put the Elon brain chip into my, into my head. I'd rather, I'd rather die than put the Elon ship in my head. That's not happening. I'm not doing that. I don't know. I guess it's the only way you could make gaming any more interesting in the future, so to say. Well, I kept Lost Soul alive for another floor up until this point. Can't wait for it to uh, die now, but... You know. I wouldn't obviously wish it upon anybody. I'm also not wishing death upon myself. Okay, he's dead. Uh, what, what happens, happens. You can't do anything about it. I'm just wishing to stay alive myself right now. Okay. <laughs> Look, he wasn't gonna pair with anything anyway. My shadow, come on. Ouija board should be a small tears up still. I think I can still squeeze a bit more tear right out of this run. There you go. Don't forget about it. You're going up tonight, kiddo. And don't forget, kids. If you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. And anyway, I'm just fighting Isaac straight away. I don't think I, I don't think I care about doing the rest of this floor, man. I think I only care about fighting Isaac. And uh, yeah, men only want one thing, and it's disgusting. <laughs> they want to kill Isaac and uh, move to the chest. Oh, Backstab are doing huge damage here while he moved so much with that teleportation. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna accept the fact that this was a very quick floor. Wow, I managed to teleport myself directly to the chest. So look at that. Even kept Lost Soul alive. Wow, he actually paid out with an item for once, and it is one of the worst items in the game. Are you for real? These are all bad, by the way. I might as well reroll all of them. Might as well also check what this secret room has for me. Greed, uh, naturally. And I gotta get my way back to the fucking main room. Ah, oh, shit. But I'm fighting for my life out here, man. This run is by no means overpowered yet. I gotta wait for those lacry tears to really pop off here. That's that's how things happen. Come on, man. Just stop hiding. Just die. I got so much luck. Where are my chests? How have I not gotten any? I've done two rooms already. I got 12 luck, brother. I should be getting chests out the fucking ass. Where are they? Ah, oh, there you go. That's more like it. Exposivo. Yeah, I like danger. Boom! Wow, it's still all trash! Okay, I'll just keep re-rolling those. I'm very content with the fact that nothing has been deleted yet. That's... That's quite surprising. How do many... Do I have any conjoint pieces yet? I don't, but I should start taking them, I think. I have BFFs as well. I think taking conjoint pieces is not a bad idea here. It's not a bad gambit. Some may argue it's a masterful gambit. We meet again. We meet again, Ludo. Oh, maybe I'll take it this time. I don't seem to have anything else going on on this run, so maybe I will. Wow, now everything got deleted. I never should have said anything, brother. I have decent shot speed. Maybe Ludo ain't that bad. Perhaps Ludo ain't that bad. Yeah, you know what? Fine. Fine. Ludo Apologists, you win. I'm gonna take it for once. I'm using mouse aiming though to control the tier because I do not wish to... do not wish to do it any other way. Trap straw, sucks ass, polydactyly. Ait, I guess. What do we got? Anti-grav. Does this do anything? It just gives me tier rate, which I think affects the tier rate of Ludo? Like, like the tier rate, uh, the tick rate? Which ticks for damage or something like that? So it should actually have an impact. Worst case, it does nothing. Tech Zero is pretty interesting, though. Because my familiar's tears count for this. I guess I'll go reroll BB's only friend. Boom. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Daddy long legs. I guess Lacry doesn't really do much now, though. That's true. Unless I get some sort of split tears, I could build Lacry again. Yeah, I don't think it's happening. Boom. Shielded tears, interesting. Boom. Lodestone. Dude, we're getting some good tier effects. I gotta get, I gotta get the game that. We're getting a lot of good tier effects out of this. Little Brim, there's conjoined. Oh, baby, We've got two tiers orbiting. Oh, I gotta know. I have to know how good it is. It's very glitchy now. I feel like the DPS should not change much um, at all. I feel like it should roughly stay the same. I might just die to like fucking random ass <laughs> blue baby shit happening. Lodestone on blue baby is kind of a terrifying proposal sometimes. Okay, whatever. Take me. Take me in. Keep that locked up for him. Oh my god, the damage. What the fuck was that? Okay, actually, wait a minute, I kind of want to try this shit against Mega Satan now. Did you see that? That was so quick. Hold the fucking phone. Okay, wait a second. I need to do some experiments here. I kind of gotta know. I'm kind of curious. 
a little bit of a damage up out of whatever Marlin Clay turned into. That's nice as well. Like, I can just keep the tier up here. I don't have to worry about anything for the time being. Oh my god, the damage is insane, dude! This is with Almond Milk, mind you! So my actual damage stat isn't even that good. It's just, like, the, the tick rate, I guess, is so crazy because of, uh, because of Almond Milk, because of the high tier rate. Holy! Dude, this is insane! What? I mean, I don't know how much of this is Ludo. Or how much of it is just, you know... The fact that the run in general is good. I lost my mental, though. I gotta be careful. Like, I think the run in general is just good. I think Ludo is uh, not the major contributing factor here, but I guess it makes it a lot easier to concentrate your damage onto an enemy. Like, holy crap. <laughs> what the hell? Let's see how quickly we melt face, too. Yeah, that's insane. Also, none of his projectiles are ever gonna hit me. I just noticed. Yeah, wait a minute. You think, you think some of this is like Lacry shenanigans with like the Explosivo tears that get stuck on him? Maybe. Dude, that's crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> that was insane! And I get to do the void. Yeah, you know what? I already cheated. Might as well. Might as well, you know, see if Delirium... I feel like Delirium is gonna be AIDS with this build, though. I feel like Delirium is gonna suck ass with this build. By the way, Lost Soul paid out with fucking Soul Hearts again! Lost Soul try paying out with anything that isn't Soul Hearts on a Lost Run challenge. Impossible. Anyway. Hello, Delirium. Let's see how you fare against this, huh? Okay, it's melting. It's melting a little bit. It's just a matter of uh, actually getting close, getting a tier close to him. But man, none of the tiers he's shooting are actually going anywhere. It's so good. They're just all getting eaten up by Sheila tiers, and now he's even... Oh, there goes Lost Soul. He's dead. Wow. <laughs> uh, I have to admit, maybe I was a little wrong about Ludo. It can be fun when you don't really have any other items that it would ruin the synergies of. Fair enough. I'm still not going to become a fan, though. <laughs> but I have to admit, it's not terrible. It definitely did something. It's one of the items of all time. It did something on that run. Anyway, that's it from me for today. I hope you have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. And I hope that I may see you again tomorrow for more of the good stuff, perhaps. Yeah. For now, have a good rest of your day, I suppose. Bye-bye!